Hi guys, what's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back with Beaker and Melly. Uh, I don't even know if you guys can see him. Well, I'm actually gonna try to get him on the screen. I gotta tell you guys a story. And this is gonna be the toughest video that we've ever done. But as always, we're gonna try to make the best of it because that's how I've gotten this far in life. I guess if you don't know who we are, hi, I'm Beaker. Oh, uh, we got Melly over there. This is Beaker's Lab. And we are a gaming channel, which for some reason, Every year, we became, you know, over the past like five or six years, we became more of like a, like an animal pet focused gaming channel. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know why. But anyway, guys, I want to get the story because as you guys know, Lulu has been in the hospital all week because she was extremely sick. She had a very bad emergency. And I honestly didn't even tell you guys how bad it was because I didn't want to worry you. I don't want you guys to be sad about this. I don't want to break anybody's heart. I'm hurting enough already. Um, but let me tell you this story first. This camera here, you guys may recognize it. It's the one that we have been using to, you know, for, for the, the second webcam in here, the, the one that films our pets. And it's focused on the door. So like, you know, if my cat comes in, if the bunnies are running around over there, it gets everybody. This camera, it just stopped working today. It won't receive power. It won't do anything. And I'm okay with that because um, I promise I'm okay. Guys, let's get our shades on. Uh, there's something in my eye. No, I'm okay, man. I mean, I have been really emotional lately and it's okay, dude. I don't know why. I have this nagging feeling in the back of my head sometimes like, oh, you shouldn't get this upset about your pets. Says who? Who cares, right? Like our pets are part of a family. I don't have any kids, you know, so I don't know what that's like, but Anyway, I'm rambling. Guys, this camera stopped working today. And I got a call this morning from the hospital where the animal hospital where Lulu is. And, you know, they had told us yesterday she was in critical condition. And again, I didn't want to worry you guys. So I didn't want to give you every bit of updates that were pretty bad because there, there was a chance she was going to be okay. Checking on Melly. But guys, we got a call this morning that she was unable to breathe this morning and she didn't make it. And I am just gutted. But look, I also want to tell you guys, I'm better than I expected. There was the most amazing thing yesterday. I was here, right? And I was just so stressed out. Of course, I had been for days. And the doctor calls us. Uh, I keep calling him a doctor. I guess they're an animal doctor, vet, do vet surgeon, whatever. But this lady was so awesome. And she called and said, look, Lula's not getting better. She's not getting worse. She's eating, um, and it gave me the best day ever yesterday because I suddenly, all that anxiety just went away and I was like, you know what? I can, I can have a normal day. We did a normal video. We, we had a good day. We had a really good day and I got a great night's sleep. And look, I was talking to my girlfriend about that and we were saying like, look, I don't know who was looking out for us, but it seemed like somebody was, right? And look, I don't know whether I owe Lulu for that amazing day or, you know, maybe my grandma was looking out for me. You know, she passed away uh, about six or seven months ago. And that was another just absolutely just emotionally terrible moment. Clearly, you know, it, it sucks to lose family. It's terrible. But somebody was looking out for us and gave us that amazing day. And it, I think it prepared me for today. You know what I mean? I think I'm actually gonna have my parents over soon and we gotta do a video telling you guys the full story of how Lulu got here because it is truly, it doesn't make any sense. It's like it was destiny. She was never meant to be my pet. She wasn't my pet. She was somebody else's who lived hundreds of miles away in a city, uh, a couple of states down from me. And my dad happened to be working in the state, happened to be working on this one job and happened to be talking to this guy who said, Look, um, my my kids got this bunny rabbit, but we have these big pit bull dogs and they, you know, are, are trying to attack this bunny. Lulu was sitting in a little cage, just tough as nails. Like you guys know Lulu, she had no fear. And I think it's because of this upbringing. But the guy said, do you want a bunny? And my dad would never have said yes, but my mom had recently said to him, I want a bunny. So my father took home this bunny and I happened to be at their house at that exact moment. I mean, like all, all these, all these things lined up perfectly. I happened to be there and I remember, this is going to make me cry, dude. But I remember the moment he walked in, I mean, I got to laugh so I don't cry. He walked in with her in his jacket. 
And look, we don't even know how old Lulu was then. She could have already been a couple of years old. It, it was really unclear. I, I was in uh, probably this stupid chair right here, or maybe a different chair. But anyway, I had an office at my parents' house and he handed Lulu to me and I just fell in love. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense, but I'd never been a bunny person. I'd never had a pet bunny before. I'd never had a pet before. And I said, Lulu can come live at my house. I didn't think it was going to be permanent. I didn't think she was going to stay. I thought she would, you know, stay at my house until we could figure out, you know, could my mom actually uh, find a, a good room for her or whatever? Because they had dogs. They had to be careful, obviously. But Lulu never left. And look, it took me a while to become a good bunny owner. But what it didn't take long for was how Lulu somehow, you know, having a pet, having someone to take care of literally made me the person I am today. Literally made me a better person. And I know that's like such a cheesy thing to say, right? It's true. Somehow, you know, adopting Lulu through that strange course of events led me to adopt our cat, Timo. It led me to adopt Melly recently, who needed a good home. He was homeless a year ago. I mean, it was, it was a little less than a year ago, but he was on the streets. And now he's in a wonderful home where people love him. And so all I mean to say is, I don't think I'd be here today had all those weird events happened and led to my dad, oh my God, I, I can picture it like it was yesterday. My dad walking in this room, the door was so messed up. It made this weird noise every time you opened it. He built the house. <laughs> I hope he sees this because the door was whack. But anyway, he walked into the room and I my desk was right there. And he just, hey, look at this bunny I got. So guys, my parents are coming over in a little while. I think I, I think we're gonna try to do something tonight and just chill, which which is great. I definitely need to do something like that. So I hope you guys are good. I, I mean that. I I was really feeling weird about doing this because like I don't want I I, I wanna I wanna make people have a good day. You know, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna bring my issues into other people's lives. That's why, you know, I, I told you guys I've had problems in the past I've talked to you about and I legit texted Clash with Ash uh, before the first time we talked about, I think before the first time I talked about having cancer. And I, I texted him to say, do you think it's okay to talk about this stuff in a YouTube channel? And he said, yeah, you should. You should be yourself. And, and that, and getting Lulu, getting pets in general, and just being myself, doing what I love every day has given me the best six years of my life. And Lulu was there for the whole thing. So anyway, guys, this camera's getting retired. I mean, it broke. Thanks, Lulu. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, so anyway, I would like to thank Lulu for breaking this camera. You monster. We love you so much. <laughs> this is hers now, and uh, I don't know what we're going to do with it. But, you know, maybe we can, like, frame it on the wall or something. Because this has been your eye into our world, right? Like, we got this one here, and we got this one here. And this has been... The, the window uh, through which, you know, it's been right up there. This is the window that you guys see, you know, what's going on here. And it's really cool. You guys, look, in conclusion, I want to tell you that I've seen some of the most amazing comments from you guys that have really gotten me through this week. I'm serious. I have laughed. I have cried. I have, like, shared comments with my family and friends that you guys have, have put up. We did a community tab post and we did a video earlier this week. And you guys are just so cool, man. I saw one comment where... You were talking about your bunny, Caster, right? Wasn't that the name, Caster? And you said they live from 2006 to 2016, and you still miss them to this. You still miss them to this day. I completely understand, and I love that you have those memories, like I, like I do. You know, I hate that we got to deal with this, this sort of loss. It's part of having family, friends. I mean, I, I've, I've had too many friends pass away. I've had too many family members pass away, and, and, and now this. It just feels like. You know, it's all bad, but you know what? I wouldn't change it for anything. If I could go back and do it all again. <laughs> so look guys, we're gonna start up our fundraiser series again and we might, uh, we're gonna do one on cancer research, which as, as you guys know, I was affected with cancer. Some of my family members have, and that sucks. So we definitely wanna do a fundraiser for that. But now this has also gotten me really jazzed up to do something in Lulu's honor because I mean, the, you know, the cancer, the uh, fundraiser could be in her honor as well, but I really want to do something either bunny focused or animal rescue focused. You know what I mean? Because 
But I have a personal connection with that that I, I feel is really important. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. We might take the day off tomorrow, but we have a really fun... Like, I don't want to completely just, like, give up on life. Lulu would be so angry at me. Anyway, guys, we do have some fun stuff planned. Uh, I've been talking to Judo. That's all I'm going to say. Been, ta been talking to Judo. Judo's so nice, dude. He And, and, and Clash with Ash and uh, Echo. All my YouTube friends that have been texting me. Judo texted me the other day and he's like, I woke up this morning and I was just, you know, instantly thought of Lulu. How is she? Uh, we've been talking. We want to do, we want to do another video. Um, that's all I can say. Cool. But yeah, man, despite everything, I love my life. And I wouldn't change it for anything, you know? So we're gonna keep on that grind. Cool. We love you guys. And thank you so much for everything you've done this week. And uh, again, leave two for Lulu forever. Lulu, Lulu forever. Cool, man. We will see you guys right here tomorrow. Or if we take the day off tomorrow, we'll, we'll let you guys know. But uh, no matter what, we love you guys. And we'll see you very soon. We love you, Lulu.